What is up everybody, this is Charisma, and I'm going to give you some tips and tricks, a beginner guide to Anime Defenders. If you guys did not know, Anime Defenders just came out today, so you're probably going to be freshly new, and let me help you out. But before we get into this video, please hit like, subscribe, I'm trying to hit 20k as my uh, next goal, so, uh, you know, uh, please help me out. So essentially the basis of this game is you get these uh, heroes right here, you get gems by uh, playing games, and you get these heroes, and you get stronger. And you play more of it. It's the tower defense simulator kind of game. Just to give you the gist of it. But from some tips and tricks standpoint. When you first join you're going to spawn right here. Go over here. It's going to ask you to like the game and join the group. Uh, do that and you get 500 gems. 500 gems will give you about uh, 10 packs. Which could potentially give you one of these nice sweet uh, purple or gold ones right off the bat. You never know. So and if you come over here. This is the challenge section. Now, the thing with the challenge section is I got to the point where I can consistently beat them at least two out of three. Um, if, especially if it's Windmill Village or like Mob City, I can do it. Uh, the last one can be a little difficult for me to do if I'm by myself. But to give you some tips and tricks for doing challenges and such, is you want to, um, you definitely need a farming character. And the reason why you need a farming character is like, obviously you get more money per round, but. When you get to these challenges, you really need, like, yellow, um, you need, like, legendary and above. You need legendary, unique, or secrets to really just do some damage here. Uh, can you still win with blue and purple? Like, I'm not going to say it's impossible, but, like, it's, your chances are going to be, like, really, uh, harder. So, you, you want to get to farm so you can really get these gold people placed down, and, um, it can really make a difference. And uh, personally, like if if you're playing like all enemies plus one shield, I like to use a character that can attack very quickly and put them in the very beginning of the set of the map and then start attacking those shields. Um, the ones I don't like is the health regen. Those can be annoying too, um, or double health. They can be a little finicky. But like for me, if you want some, uh, what I use at the moment, I don't, I'm not like crazy, but I got like master master swordsman. I put him in the front. He does really well. Uh, I use him for support, kind of put him behind him to kind of help support. Um, I haven't used him yet. I got him for a good deal um, in the trading plaza. Um, and then I use the bloomer for that. And then I use him because he's only 550. And um, if you're playing by yourself, you can skip round one. But, like, you really need to get a player down as, like, ASAP. So I try to have just, like, a just kind of a purple right now. It's, it's a lower one. Play some beginning. Um... But yeah, so and then when you go over to here, you get to play, and you have all these different maps, and just go through them, you know, you get like, your first time, you get like 110 gems, you get some decent XP, the XP really does help, you can unlock more of these, and then, when you come over here to the summon section, you have this big, nice area, and obviously you have right here, and obviously I don't have like a guide on like what's the best uh, character in here, but look at other YouTube videos and such, and see which one's the best, um, and let me explain the pity system. Basically, every every 50 packs, you can't get this before 50 packs. But if you open 50 packs and you still didn't get legendary, you're guaranteed on your 50th one pack or whatever. And then it resets. And same for the mythic. Mythic is the colorful rainbow one. I'm at 127. Let's say I get the 200 and I pull one. Boom, it'll reset. Let's say I get the 400 and I still pull one. Then I'm guaranteed to get one. And so then you get that. And what's the cool thing is you have this secret one right here. And it's a secret. Now, it's going to be really rare because that's a 0.25% chance. So, to get a secret right off the bat without evolving it is going to be really, really difficult. It's going to be really difficult. But, with that being said, if you're worried like, hey, I'm not going to be able to like... It's going to be impossible to get this one not so fast. Because if you can get at least a unique... Um, or a shiny, I mean, one of, one of these right here. If you're able to get a unique... Like, you come over here to the crafting... And you go over here and you craft these items and it'll say specifically for which one. You used to evolve the Ant King, you used to evolve Curse uh, Prince, you used to evolve the Gamer. And you click them and you click confirm. And it'll have you all these stars right here. And you might be wondering like, what the heck? Like, what? Do, how do I get these stars? Well, the, the best way to get stars is to go to uh, these challenges right here. And especially the ones that have like all of these extra loots because this is your chance to get like a bunch of these right here. And you just have like a 5% to get the rainbow, 50%, boom, boom, boom. And these reset every hour, so if you're worried like it's going to take forever, it, it won't take too long. Um, so yeah, when you get the parts and such, you can 
create it, craft it, and then if you have a unique, I, I assume I haven't done it yet, you put your hero there, put the unit there or whatever, and then boom, you evolve it and then it turns into a secret. It's going to take some grinding though. You might be wondering like, you know, if you come over here and it's like cost 33,000 to like craft, or like this one, 33,000. Like what do I have to do to get these coins? Well, the simple way to get these coins is you just go down to like your crappy ones that you don't want and you just go click sell mode. Boom, 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 like this. And then we click confirm. Boom. Right there, I'm at like 9,000. So you just keep opening up packs. Just keep opening up packs and then you can sell them and get coins and then save up to crafts. So then you can get some like really nice ones. And then if you go over here to the rank rerolls, this is really pretty straightforward. You click a unit like, you know, we'll just put this one here, confirm. And it gives you the ranks of these and you can click, you have these dice and you can roll them and it could, you could have an A here and it could make it worse. So that's why they have these little freeze binds where you click it right here. And that way when you roll it, deaths will stay the same and you're good. You don't have to worry about losing it. So be very careful. Um, be very patient. Uh, if you do get like an A in, in your damage or something, wait until you can get a freeze uh, bind. And the way how you can get a freeze bind um, I mean, is definitely in the challenges sections. I've gotten them in the challenge section. I don't know if there's any here right now at the moment. Nope. But just wait every hour. I did do a couple challenges where I got those. And I'm trying to see if we can do them through quest. Uh, weekly. You can get them through weekly. Um, I'm not seeing them through weekly. What about infinite? Um, I'm not... I guess you can only do them through challenges at the moment. Um, but yeah, just wait to challenge it each hour and you can get those frost binds and that could be really help. And Cause once you start getting, once you start getting the, you know, the uniques and the secrets, that's where you want to really just save up your, like, you want to save up these, you want to save up these, you want to save up, you know, these, the traits right here. And we'll talk about that. Um, because the traits, you can get this one, like plus 280% damage, 15% cooldown, 10% range, one play, like, you want to save as much stuff as you can, um, not for like the blues, the purples, or even the yellows. Like, do not waste your stuff on that. Um, wait until you get at least a unique, at least a unique. I can understand if you don't want to use it on the secret because it could take forever to get a, to get one. But um, yeah, just uh, at least use it on the unique so you can really just get some nice, some nice heroes that you can use just long term. And if I was you. Um, you know, just keep opening up packs, um, get accordingly, and then when you, uh, you know, you get to your new, your unique, you can go over here, see what you need to craft, um, there's, what, 4, 8, 11, there's, I guess, 11, um, uniques as of right now, and see what you get, you know, and then, yeah, you can really make some really cool ones, some secret ones, I've already seen people posting on Discord with their, like, uniques and such, who knows how much Robux they spent, Probably insane amount, but hey, power to them. But yeah, that's just kind of a all arounder. And if you really want to try snack some deals, like I paid, let me see, I paid like 900 gems for this one, 900 gems for this one, and they're both like shiny too. Um, so you just kind of have to go in, and you gotta think if you think about it from a mathematical perspective. Let's say if it does take you 50 packs. Uh, which will probably take you about 30 to 50 packs to get a legendary. You know, that's a lot of gems. So you could potentially spin a bunch of gems just for one hero and, and save some gems. You just kind of have to look what deals are out there. So if we go over here, like right now, these just have like blues and purples. I'm not really interested in that. I don't, I'm, I'm already built up to where I don't need that. So I'm just saving my gems. But as the game progresses on, people will be selling like yellows and such, which I will see a couple yellows. I haven't seen a, you don't know if I've seen a unique being sold yet, but I know I've just said a lot of information there. Um, but also, one more thing. Also, one more thing. Make sure you go over here and get these uh, get these good old gems. Make sure you type into if you go over here to top left codes. Type in there's like seven codes on the Discord server. Boom, you can get um, like 50 gems for each. I actually have my own code. Uh, just type in sub to Charisma Cutie, all one word. You'll get 50 gems right there, which is equal to one pack. So, without further ado, you guys have a good one. If you guys want me to talk about specific information about the game and such, I'll try my best. I'm I'm learning this game each each and every hour. I've been playing a good amount, and um, yeah, I think I'm getting a pretty good grasp on it. But you guys have a good one. Bye bye. I appreciate you all, and please hit that like, subscribe.